Now that the island's done, I really need to do something about this floor. Ugh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are on episode eight of my pocket change kitchen renovation. And today I am gonna do the floor. <laughs> fun, fun, right? In my dream world with unlimited funds, the flooring that I would really put in this room would be a brick, a real brick. Heat it underneath, of course, to keep those tootsies warm. But in a perfect world, that's what I would wanna do. That's not in my budget. It's not remotely in my budget. We did price it out just, you know, for fun and games. It was thousands for this room. They'd have to take everything out to bring the layers back down to the subfloor. Who knows what that would entail. So I had to come up with a different option. I did think about linoleum, but I don't want to do linoleum because that can get you into seams and I don't want to deal with that. I actually put linoleum down in my chicken coop all by myself and although it came out really good it is by no means professional and not anything I would want to attempt in my own home and this is staying budget friendly so hiring a contractor is absolutely out of the question this is all on me so I started to think of an alternative that I could do to give me that look of the real brick without breaking the bank and I came up with a fabulous solution I went through Home Depot and found these floor pops they are 12 by 12 vinyl stick down tiles. What I really like about them is they have a texture and a dimension. You hear that? It's not flat and smooth. So it kind of gives you the illusion of a real brick. Um, they have come a long way when it comes to stick down tiles and the choices are unlimited for real. You could have anything you wanted for very reasonable prices. Before I can get to the floor, there are some repairs that I have to make. The kitchen island that I am still so very much in love with that I just made over used to be attached to the wall and the floor reflects that. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. You could see all the different layers of the flooring that's been down. There's either four or five on this floor and I am by no means gonna rip any of that up. What I am gonna do is repair where this island used to be as simple as possible. I just need to get the edges sealed so they're not gonna come up because the next step is going to actually be building up that center with a floor leveler so that I can have everything smooth and level to start with. But before I can start any of that, I took a quick trip to Dollar Tree. Let me just pause this right here for a second to share with you a funny story that I know so many of you can relate to. I'm on my way to the Dollar Tree. I want to grab two buckets. I want to grab a nice pair of gloves and I want to grab some alcohol. That is literally it. I am not grabbing anything else. Just those few things and I'm going to come back and get going on the floor. Well, that went well, huh? So glad to see I have the willpower to stick to 
to only what I have on my list. Problem is, they put Christmas stuff out so early that if you don't buy it now, you're not going to get it. It's going to be all gone. It'll be gone before Halloween. Like, that's how savage everything has gotten lately. I totally miss those days when you'd look forward to Black Friday because that's when the Christmas stuff would come out. I don't know what the rush is nowadays, but they suckered me right in, didn't they? <laughs> that's their plan, and they're very good at it. Or I'm just very bad at saying no. What are the do? That was just an epic failure. But I have my buckets and I have what I need to start. I'm gonna run upstairs and go get on my yucky clothes and get this project going. I'm dying to see the floor in here. That's gonna be a huge visual impact and difference and I need to see it. Plus, I'm really sick of this floor. It's pretty ugly old and I hate this spot. I hate seeing it. It just drives me nuts. So, I'm gonna go change. Before I can start working on the repair, I actually have to expose the area. So I'm gonna clean off this whole cabinet and then move the cabinet out so I can see what I've got to work with. There's a lot of curled up edges that I don't want to just glue down. What I want to try to do is just give it a nice, smooth, clean cut with a razor. Um, see how that looks after. So, what if The reason that we have it in here is we bought it from Lowe's. It's a ripped bag, as you can see. And they sold it to us for 10 bucks if we take it as is. And I only need a little bit, so this was perfect. And I'm gonna mix it up and start getting it on the floor. levelers down it went down beautiful I love how it really just self levels itself out hence the name I guess right 
it just really works great. So I've got that down, but it has to set up. I'm going to have a fan on that going to really get it hard, but it's going to take overnight before I'll be comfortable to do anything with it. I want to really, really solidify. So we're going to do this video in two parts, but before I end the video today, I am going to do one other very important step of floor prep, and that is the scrubbing and the washing. You can put these tiles down over just about anything, but you have to start with a really good clean surface, especially in the kitchen area where there's lots of grease and oil. You don't need to get too fancy. I'm going to get a bucket of hot water and put some Dawn liquid in there. I am going to throw in a little bit of borax. I've got my gloves. I've got a scrubby. And then I'm going to follow behind a bucket of clean rinse water and a rag. And right after I wash and scrub, I'm going to come right behind it and clean that area. I'm going to have to wash it one more time before I put it down, but at least I can just mop it at that point. This is the crucial scrub part where you want to make sure you get everything up. If you need to have a scraper, bring a scraper with you, a little Brillo, scrub daddy, whatever it takes to get the job done, scrub the floor good, rinse it solidly, and let it dry. Something I could do. I could be running or I just think But I'm all home. Cause I got better, better things to do. I just spent my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too. If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl alive. Life, life. If you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me tonight No, you didn't know me All you wanted was a game to play Unbearable hours later. Oh. Oh. oh my lord, my body hurts. I can't move. Oh crap. They gotta paint the ceiling too. I am done. <laughs> my floor is scrubbed and I have to tell you I don't know how my grandmother did this like every other day. My back's breaking. I'm not even playing. <laughs> but the floor has never been cleaner. It is grease free, dirt free, streak free, mess free. It's just free of everything at this point in time. So I am going to end part one here. Uh, we have to let that area where I added the floor leveler cure before I can actually put the tiles over. And I have a very big decision to make. 
I have to decide, am I gonna lay the tiles straight? Or am I gonna lay them on a diagonal? Major, major decision. Like giving me anxiety over choosing the wrong pattern. Would you do it square or would you do it on the diagonal like a herringbone? Let me know in the comments down below which way you like better. Square on or diagonal? All right guys, I am exhausted. I could lay right here on the floor and go to sleep. I will see you next time when I'm ready to put the floor down. Oh, what a day. Can't believe I had to paint the ceiling. I didn't even think of that. Ugh. Bye, guys.